follow VG Bootcamp so that you can watch all the Smash action, Melee, Ultimate, platform fighters in general, we got you. I'm back. I'm just rotating screens. Yep. <laughs> screens on screens on screens. Right now, going to start off on Kalos. Um, a lot of people do say that Wolf is really good at this stage. Um, but at the same time, there's other people saying with so much space, a character like me, Swordsman, would love a stage like this. Mm -hmm. And by the way, can we talk about how Parappa has been going pretty much all Mii Sword Fighters today and tearing people apart? With the exception of Pink Fresh, at least, which he beat uh, Game 3. He's fits to Ryu. Yeah. Um, but right now, I mean, uh, oh, oh my gosh, except for Dexter, he's not tearing him apart, apparently. No, there's still plenty of time. It's only 30 seconds in the game. Yeah, but that was uh, quite the statement. Yes. Yes, it was. And he's still continuing it right now. It looks like Parappa not quite finding an answer yet, but he wasn't really able to alleviate a bit of that pressure, but only momentarily as Dexter just starts his onslaught again. Yeah, and for some reason, it looks like Dexter's pretty familiar with this Me Sword Fighter matchup. I guess he's been preparing. He's like, hey, man, I got Parappa next. What do I got to do? <gasps> that went unpunished. Very fortunate for Parappa. And he managed to actually get some damage off in the process. Nair. Oh, he had the read on the tech, just mistimed it a little bit. Dexter playing like, well, a wolf on the prowl. Oh. Until okay. he doesn't quite get his catch and goes hungry. Well, we'll see how long he stays hungry. We'll see. Oh, I thought we were going to see a back throw from Dexter. Not able to get it, though. All of a sudden, Parappa trying to get back on stage. Dexter waiting. Great spot dodge. And all of a sudden, the damage starts opening up. Parappa getting his turn to play the game. Yeah, Parappa's spot dodge, by the way, have been very on point today. It doesn't look like a big thing that would make a difference, but because spot dodges are um, more plus, especially for against grabs, you can um, really reverse the situation by one well-timed defensive option. That weight. Yeah. It paid off, it, though. Yeah, it pays off more for the person who's on the ledge because that shield goes down pretty quick. We have an edge guard attempt. Goes for the down tilt. Not going to get it. Maintain stage control. There was a re-grab that went for free right there. That was the boldest one, and that's probably why it went unpunished. You can't expect people to re-grab in your face just so brazenly. I really wish he would go for some of those spikes that we saw him do uh, against, for example, uh, Kony earlier. Mm. The, um, Parappa was not afraid to try to challenge him with the spike, and Wolf, once you can force him to be, his, his recovery is very linear. Oh, yeah. Fantastic up tilt, by the way, from Dexter right there. That anti-air going to take that stock and alleviate a lot of that pressure that Parappa was um, tacking on. It's one of the, like, forgotten kill moves on Wolf, because he has so many other things you have to be afraid of. Down smash, back air, up air, back throw. Spike. Spike. I was wondering if we are going to see a forward air into Spike. Yeah, but by, by the time you remember the up tilt, it's like, oh, wait, how's his foot reach that far? Oh, wait, why am I dead? <laughs> oh, and he, I, I was going to say, he makes it back unscathed. That was going to be crazy. But Parappa managing to tie it up only 34% down, not too much by any means. Mm -hmm. But the, the big difference is things like that. When Dexter gets an opening, he's, he's stringing together multiple hits. When Parappa gets it, it's, it's, it's kind of like a straight hit, and that's the end of it. He resets neutral and has to find another opening. And I feel like part of that is the nature of the character. Wolf does have a lot of combos going off his forward air, which is also his main neutral tool. So that's why the character kind of flows together so cohesively. I mean, Swordfighter, he's good at spacing you out, but he doesn't get too much afterwards unless he forces more disadvantaged situations. I definitely thought we would see another up tilt from Dexter right there. He was at that position where if Rapid jumped, he would have did it. He's trying to keep it fresh. I don't know if it will kill, like, now. I think it will be close. Parappa trying to find something to get back in this. And oh. there's the up tilt again, and that, you know, he's he's done it twice now. Two stocks were taken due to an anti-air up tilt. I feel like a lot of Wolf or Dexter gets more of those on Kala specifically, because he's so good at trapping you on the ledge that you have to go to the platform. Once you're on that platform, how do you get around an up tilt there? That's true. Maybe try to wave land away. Maybe, like, kind of go towards him and then wave land back so that you can at least hit the ground. Yeah, that is true. That's something. That's something. Right, but, but what's the counter pick going to be? A million dollar question. Not Kalos. Don't let him take you back there. Because the uh, stage, or oh, that stage played a big role in how that uh, game went, I believe. Then maybe um, something flat might work, but you're still going to have to deal with the same traps. You're still eventually going to have to jump off the ledge if you do want to try to get back. Mm -hmm. Assuming Dexter is covering the same way. An op thing for Smashville. Maybe he wants to try to stay under the platform and force Dexter to approach him. I personally am not a huge fan of this stage as Olimar. Um, I find that that platform, because it's in the center, it really allows people to stay safe from projectiles and come down when they want to. 
Yeah, absolutely. Uh oh, are we going to switch to the Ryu? Is he bringing out the Ryu? He's asking the gods. He's staring to the heavens. I don't know about this one. Yeah. And he's opting to do it. And I do respect this decision. Um, I don't know their set history, but Ryu traditionally does fantastic versus Spacey's. Mm -hmm. That is true, but that was also mostly in Smash 4. In Smash Ultimate, Spacey's do have the opportunity to blow him a bit more uh, due to the air dodge changes. So, like, he only has, like, one focus and one air dodge. Well, right best. now, it's definitely working. And one major difference is the damage output that Ryu has over Mii Swordsman. You don't have to get as many openings with Ryu as you do with Mii Swordsman to take a stock. Mm -hmm. He's already 84% in jeopardy of losing his stock, maybe barring a jab first or a grab. That'd be enough. And right now, he is in Shoryu range or back oh. air eviscerated off the left side of that stage. He actually just ran up on him, zero hesitation. And there's no reason to hesitation or hesitate. And one of the changes that Ryu did have in this game is the ability to cancel his aerials into specials. So that's why that forward air and destroy you can work right there. Not sure if it was worth it. He took a lot of damage in the process. Great job not rolling in, but that forward smash did go punish. Dej had, I was going to say Dexter had him exactly where he wanted him, but Grappa was able to get back pretty easily. Great spot dodge on that. Uh, Wolf's Forward Smash is so safe on shield that I don't know if Ryu has a button to punish it if it's uh, spaced properly. But by spot dodging, you have buttons. That was fantastic. Parry into the autocorrect tilt. I'm assuming he, to make sure it didn't cross up, he just kind of said, hey, I'll let the game do it for me. Yeah. I mean, that's the thing about Ryu. You don't need to worry about what way you're facing. He'll always face towards his opponent. And he rolls? Okay, I might steal that to my book next time he does a Hadouken at me. Yeah, it's interesting how well Parappa's playing his shield game in um, this game. Oh, is that it? No, Dexter missing the punish. And that, maybe Smashville, that's one of the reasons he chose this stage. He can go for the Shoryukens right there and not really have to worry about too much. Um, on Battlefield, I believe, oh my gosh, nice that is Nice out of it. shield punish, yes. Up smash that. On Battlefield, uh, most up smashes reach through the platform, but on Smashville, that's not the case. Mm -hmm. He makes it back. Dexter going deep down right now. Three stocks to one. And it looks like Ryu was the pick. Oh, yeah. So far, it's working beautifully for him. But there are a lot of spot dodges going in. If Dexter gets wind, he might be able to make him pay. Back throw. This could be bad. Uh -oh, if he clips his jump, he still has it. No, he, he opts to stay on stage. Said, I'll just take some stage control for now. I would have liked it if he went out there. Like, I understand that Ryu's edge guarding isn't the strongest, but Wolf's recovery kind of sucks sometimes. Oh my goodness, he is getting blown up right now. Ryu is not playing any games. Back throw, it is nice. going to do it. Parappa with a huge lead right now. Dexter definitely going to have to make quite the adjustments if he wants to bring it back. Um, I would love to see him edge guarding. Uh, Ryu's recovery is leaves a little bit to be desired, and that might be one area you can exploit, but he's not going to get the chance this game. Game number two going to Parappa. We're going to hop into game number three. Yeah, I mean, you, I doubted that counter pick, but Parappa proved me the heck wrong because Ryu is looking like that's a nice character. I mean, we all knew he was a nice character, but like, it's looking like a nice character in this matchup. Yeah, you know, not a lot has changed, but it, it does make sense in the grand scheme of things. Um, me, Swordsman, it, it's almost like he was doing Smash 4 damage. A lot of characters, did they do more damage now, but me, Swordsman, his, his damage output was very mediocre. Mm -hmm. So the fact that he was getting openings, but they were, you know, one hit hit there, one hit here. Wasn't really able to deal with the amount of combos that Wolf was able to string together. Yeah, I feel like part of that is due to the nature of the character, too, because fast followers um, can get back to the ground a lot more quickly, and that just gives them back more of their resources and options um, faster than, like, maybe slower falling characters. But now, another counter pick against our character that Dexter said he wasn't really feeling this game, Lucina. Well, you gotta do what you gotta do when the going gets tough, and he's going to try it. And right now, he does have a slight lead, definitely starting off way better than Wolf did versus Parappa. Yes. I think he was, what, 70 80% before he was able to get anything going. And the, wow, Whoa. he knew that attack was coming out. I got to ask Parappa if he played Third Strike after this, because sometimes when he hits those parries and up, I'm like, that's, that's actually ridiculous that you just buffered all that so quickly. Yeah, a couple frames, man, you know? We'll find out. We'll ask him after. All right, right now, pretty much an even stalemate.
Has him off stage. Edge guard attempt. Oh my goodness, that was deep and it was so good. He can't make it back from there. Dexter, stay on stage. 96% right now. And he went back to Kalos, by the way. Yeah. You were mentioning earlier, don't let him. Granted, it was Parappa's counter pick. It was an entirely different matchup. Yeah, but, too. but it wasn't banned. Oh, true. Yeah, I guess he let him go back considering, like, you know, everything that was in play there changed. It could just be a comfort pick for Dexter, possibly, as well. Mm -hmm. Good back air. Oh, he reached. Parappa making him pay for That's it. Oh, lock. reset. Oh, but he wasn't able to get it. He had the jab lock. That would have been huge. Yeah. I mean, in this game, you can um, do any normal get up off of a jab lock, but it's still more time that you're stuck on the ground. Ryu, strong character, but not very fast. It looks like he just couldn't get there in time. Look at the patience by Parappa and better patience by Dexter with punishing that back air. Smart stuff. I give him a bit of pummels, getting that damage racked up. Up throw, I don't know if it'll kill for either of them just yet. Yeah, I, I wouldn't be surprised to see that until like 150. I think it's a bit interesting he opted for up throw versus throwing him off stage with a back throw. Mm -hmm. Maybe he was looking to anti-air him but didn't quite find the opening. Hadoken getting the respect to space. And, and another change to Ryu coming into effect. Hurricane Kick now does take stocks, but oh. it does not matter. Dexter just running completely at Parappa and saying this is a tie game. I like it when players use the respawn invincibility to their fullest extent. Because in this game, it feels like it lasts so much longer. So you can just run up, do something stupid, and then just run away again. And be like, all right, I did that for free. How's that feel? It felt good, but you know, that feeling was was not long lasting because Parappa just starts turning it up 24 to 69 right now. And he just stared in his face. He didn't even press a button. These guys are nutty. They're just staring at each other and then like pressing a hard committal option. I actually like the rolls from Dexter because worst case he would have got dash attack and that wouldn't have taken the stock. Not the sweet spot. Dexter still having a chance. Dash attack, not going to do it quite yet. At 127 though, can he make it back? Double jump has been expended. So scary to get up first Parappa. He managed to do it though, but only for the moment. Wait, was that Nair in the back here? I think so. Yeah, I wasn't sure if it was Nair. That couldn't have been for it. It went, went way too far. Yeah, Nair in the back air. So quick with it, too. Yeah, he was prepared for that conversion. That's for sure. Mm -hmm. Parappa moving up right now. 2-1 over Dexter. That counter pick not quite working out as well as Dexter planned. Opting to go back to Whoop saying, you know what? Let me go who I am known for right now in this game. Let me when it, when the going gets tough, my back's against the wall. Wolf's got my back on Kalos. Mm -hmm. All right, so now matchups change a little bit. Now we have Ryu versus Wolf on Kalos. I wonder how this will change the flow of the matchup. Because Ryu, I mean, Wolf doesn't have any multi-hitting aerials, does he? He didn't need it. Did you see that anti-air? Yeah, that was a great grab. Okay, making him pay. Anti-air and then grabbing the focus. Really wise right there. And over 100% on the side of Ryu already. If he keeps on hanging out by that ledge, he's more liable to die. He's to get center stage and hold on to it because, yeah, just like that, that stock is gone. Great tech chase coming in from Dexter. And it looked like he was spaced to the point where he actually couldn't even have been hit by get-up attack. Waits it out, finds the opening, not able to get much more off of it, though. He drifted back just a little bit on that forward air to try and make it safe. He didn't trust the hit connecting. And look at Parappa just sticking to him. Even when Dexter tries to roll away, the down tilts are there. Just always poking him with those toes. He's not that back air. Not going to be able to punish it. Dexter saying, give me some space. I want some lasers. Parappa is just so aggressive. This onslaught, just chasing him everywhere. Yeah, and because of that aggression, he hasn't gotten much damage on him. Only 9% in the stock. You know, Dexter took it quite a while ago. He just hasn't had an opportunity to get anything else the going. Tech flub. That was a huge tech flub. The, the Shoryuken? Yeah, the, the, he did it late. The stock would have been gone. Yeah. Actually, it looks like he tried to catch the uh, air dodge, and then he just did it a little bit too early. And because of that, he uh, almost got punished. But even then, Parappa's been untouched for the last like 40 seconds and when he does finally get hit it's a trade that Dexter loses the stock for. And now Parappa doesn't really have too much. I was gonna say not too much to catch up but just like that taking the lead by 1% but Dexter firing right back keeping Ryu in the air such a great position to be against or to have against Ryu. Mm -hmm. Yeah not having the best airspeed or air acceleration so when he's in the air his options are a bit more limited. And 
Parabola, I don't know if Dexter's realized it, but whenever he starts comboing him, he finishes with a Hadouken to force Dexter to jump, and then he punishes with an up air. It's all resource management, man. Jump's a resource. Space is a resource. Burn that space, burn that jump, give big damage. He really just dash attacked him. Yeah, sometimes it'd be like that. <laughs> there was no fear. My man said, yeah, I'm a dash attack. Yeah. But that confidence paying off, man, is to get that up smash too. Not able to take the stock, very unfortunate for him. Was it confidence or was it possibly signs of being flustered, saying, I'm getting nothing off of this, that, and the other. Just let me hit a button. That is possible as well. Basically dead even right now. Slight advantage for Rappa, though, I think, because of that kill power he has. And, and Dexter's really only going to take the stock with really a back or a back throw? Or a side B, maybe, if it connected. But going straight through Ryu, I'm surprised that didn't even connect at he all. He took the risk. It went unpunished. But as he tries to land, Parappa answers taking that stock. Yeah, graze the heart up tilt there. It's rare to see that move work, but when it does, it can le really lead to a lot. And Dexter looking a bit flustered now, just trying to go forward. Oh my gosh, that got hit so unfortunate. Dexter gonna hit him with that forward air, adding this damage, but is that enough? You need a bit more right now. You're at 64. He lost so much skate control. No punish on that. Actually, he died for that. Interesting. How did he get scooped from there? It, uh, you know Dexter's last name is Houdini. Okay, I believe it. Yeah. He's at 90, though. He's really going to need a nice magic trick. Because he's against Ryu. He's at 100. It's still not over yet. Go Already got up. Frame. Oh, no! When your percent's that low, that's not a true string. Mm -hmm. Very unfortunate for Dexter. But Rabbit's going to take it.